hello guys welcome back to teacher just channel and today we are looking into lesson three and uh, here is question 13. the chart below represents a simple classification of crops so we have crops then it has been divided into food crops and cash crops and then the it's further classified into tubers and fruits under food crops and beverages and fiber under cash crops so the question is the crops represented by roman one two and three and four are so you're supposed to check into the choices which crops fit into roman one two three and four so let's talk about examples of tubers we have uh, potatoes which are widely consumed such a tuber sweet potatoes another nutritious tuber with a sweet taste yams common in tropical regions yams are starchy tubers and finally cassava a tropical tuber used for its starchy roots so when you check our roman one uh category we have uh green grams uh that is not a tuber according to list we have carrots we have cassava cassava is in the list and we have sorghum so Choice A is out because of green grams. So we're remaining with B, C, and D. Let's move to Roman 2, which is fruits. So I have given like examples of fruits here. Apples, bananas, oranges, grapes. We have pineapples. Like there are a lot of fruits. And uh, in Roman 2, we have um, mango, orange, and peas. Because uh, we've already removed choice A. So under this list, uh, peas are not uh, fruits, so choice D is also out. So that is how you're supposed to tackle this question. We're remaining with choice B and C. Uh, we move to beverages. I've given examples of beverages. Here we have coffee, tea, cocoa, and sugar cane. So uh, between B and C, tea is... Uh, is a beverage sunflower is not a beverage so choice c is out but you can also move to uh the fiber category so examples of fiber are cotton jute flax hemp so if you can see like this choice c also coffee is not a fiber so choice c is also out we're remaining with the b uh carrots uh, i wanted to say something about carrots uh we have things called root and tuber vegetables and they include potatoes carrots parsnips turnips beetroot sweet potato and taro so carrots fall under the category of tubers i hope uh it's clear about that then we have mango is a fruit then under cash crops beverage tea we've checked is a beverage and then cotton is a uh, a fiber so our answer is choice b in this question let's move to question 14 question 14 which one of the following is not an important consideration when giving medicine so what i can say here is that uh let's see choice a the quantity to be taken like you definitely have to check the amount that you're giving someone uh the amount of medicine so definitely question a is correct that is uh, a consideration choice b date of manufacture uh one thing you should know is that you're supposed to check expiry date not manufacturing date manufacturing date won't help you the most important thing to check is date of expiry so choice b is out is not an important consideration uh duration of the dose definitely you have to check the duration uh choice d taste of medicine yeah as uh, when some medicines have lasted for long they kind of change uh the way they taste so it's not appropriate to give someone so in this question our answer is choice b it is not an important consideration uh the diagram below represents parts of a flower labeled e f g and h uh so you can see the parts the part that receives pollen grains during pollination is so here's another chance to talk about pollination so let's get into it so here is a diagram showing all parts uh, of a flower we have the pistil, stigma style ovary we have the petals we also have the stamen anther filament we have the ovule with embryo we have sepal uh, we have receptacle pendicle so those are the parts of the flower so we're going to talk about function of each one of them so I'll start with petals. They're also called corolla. 
Petals are usually the most noticeable part of a flower and serve a vital function in attracting pollinators. The vibrant colors and enticing scents of petals attract pollinators such as bees, butterflies, and birds. So that is the function of petals. Uh, you can see the petals uh, in the flower. Next, we move to sepals. Uh, you can identify sepal uh, from the figure. It's also called calyx. These are small modified leaves that enclose and protect the flower bud before it opens. They are often green, but in some flowers, they are brightly colored and resemble the petals. A receptacle, you can identify it. Uh, this is the part of the flower where the flower attaches to the stalk. Uh, the pentacle is a formal name for a flower stalk. So the four of uh, these parts of a flower form the vegetative parts of a flower. So next we move to the reproductive parts of a flower. So the reproductive structures of flowers are separate, male and female parts. So let's start with the male parts. So what you need to know, the anther and the filament make up the stamen. So anther, this part of the stamen produces and contains pollen. The anther is usually at the end of a thin tube-like structure called filament. Filament, the filament is a stalk that holds up the anther, making the pollen accessible to pollinators or wind. Next is female parts uh, of a flower, which is a pistil, also known as carpel or gynoecium. So stigma, this is the part of the pistil that receives other pollen grains. It is often sticky or feathery for trapping and holding on to the pollen grains. So as you can see uh, the stigma there. Then you have style. This is the long tube-like structure that connects the stigma and the ovary. Once a pollen grain lands on the stigma, it grows a pollen tube down the style to reach the ovary and accomplish fertilization. Uh, uh, ovary, this is the part of the pistil that holds the ovules. It is within the ovary that fertilization occurs and seeds develop. I have the ovule. The ovule is the potential seed within the ovary. Each ovule contains an egg cell. When an ovule is fertilized by a sperm cell from a pollen grain, it develops into a seed. So we've uh, covered all parts of a flower. I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, having the notes. So the question was, the part that receives pollen grains during pollination is, and our answer is stigma. As you can see there, uh, it is a part of the pistil that receives. So that is H, so our answer is D. Uh, question 16, which one of the flowing plants has the same types of roots as the bean plant? So... So bean plants are, together with cowpeas, typically have tap roots. Nepia grass, uh, these are grasses like include nepia grass, commonly have fibrous root systems. Maize, also known as corn, uh, have fibrous root systems together with wheat plants, which have fibrous root systems. So nepia grass, maize and wheat both have fibrous root systems, while bean plants uh, and cowpeas have tap roots. So our answer is cowpeas. They have the same types of roots as the bean plants. So we've come to the end of this particular lesson and see you in the next video. Bye.